Hey, what's up everyone? It's Josh Ernie, and today I want to do a short tutorial on how you can accumulate values into a list inside of a for each loop. Now, we're going to do this in Mule 4, and the reason I think this tutorial is important is because in Mule 3, when we could use mel, it was really easy to just, before the for each loop, assign an empty, or initialize an empty array list and assign that to a variable. And then in the for each loop, just use the expression component to call the list.add method to directly modify that, that array that we had initialized earlier. Now in Mule 4, remember that we don't have mel anymore. We could do this in Java, but the preferred way to do it would just be to use data weave. That way we don't have to go into another uh, class file or anything like that. So let's go ahead and go over the flow that I have right here. You can see that I'm setting a payload right here. It's just an array of strings, one, two, three, four, and five. And here I have a subflow called call mock service. And this is just supposed to mimic something like a database or an API or a web service call, anything like that. So I have my data source here, which is just an object that maps these uh, number values to our number keys to their you know, spoke, um, word counterparts, and we just look them up using whatever payload was passed in. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is initialize an empty array, just like we would in the old way with um, yield 3. So I'm going to go ahead and grab another transform message component. I'm going to hit this little pencil mark here because we don't actually want to set the payload, we want to set a variable. And we'll set that to, I'm just going to call it ACC, and that's going to be short for accumulator. And I'm going to make this an empty list and give this a more meaningful name. We'll call it init ACC. All right, next thing I want to do is actually put a flow reference over here. We're going to wrap that in a for each and call this, um, we're going to call the call mock service. I'm going to go ahead and copy that, paste it, oh, that's not right. <laughs> I'll just write it in. I'll do that call mock service. So that's going to call this guy. Um, what I would like to do is, um, I would like to actually give this a, a target value as a variable instead of having it overwrite the payload. So we're going to call it result and the target value is actually going to be payload. All right, so far so good. One thing I want to do real quick is add a logger before that, and we're just going to log current value of iteration, and current value of iteration is payload. All right, so far so good. And the next part is probably the most important part of this tutorial. This is why you're here. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's check it out real quick. What we're going to do here, we don't want to overwrite the payload again. We actually want to reassign the initial accumulator value. So we're going to give it, we're going to, the output of this script will overwrite that accumulator value. So we're going to do that. And we're going to take the existing accumulator, which is stored in vars.ac. Remember, if this is the first iteration of this for each loop, this is an empty array. And we're going to push onto that empty array the, I believe it is vars. Yes, vars. Result, which is what we got back from call mock service. Now the new value for ac or uh, the new value for the accumulator is going to be an array list or an array just containing that result. And let's give this a more meaningful name. We're going to say reassign ac, which is what it's doing. And let's go ahead and add a logger after this so we can see what ac is now. Let's say log value of ac. Current value of ac is vars.ac. Uh, one thing I wanted to do here is I want result 
dot value because remember this guy here is returning an object with a key value and I actually just want to get the value itself. So we're logging that and that'll loop through all of these and accumulate them into the accumulator here and I want to add one more logger at the end just so we can see what the accumulator looks at looks like at the actually you know what now that I think about it it's not necessary because this one right here will log the final value so let's go ahead and run this project real quick hopefully we don't have any compilation errors we'll see so once this starts running what I'm gonna do is just use postman off screen to call this HTTP listener if you look at it real quick, it's just listening on localhost 8081, and I'm going to call that trigger path right there. So let's see if this is started. This is deployed, so I'm going to go ahead and kick this off on my side. All right, looks like it ran successfully. Let's go ahead and check out the console real quick. So beginning accumulator, that's the logger right here. Uh, current value of the iteration is 1, so that's right here. Uh, current value of ACK is 1. When the value of the iteration is 2, we add the word 2 to the list and so on and so forth until we get all the way to 5. And that's how you accumulate values into an array list inside of uh, accumulate values from a for each loop into an array using data weave in Mule 4. Hope you enjoyed.